One time for my LA sisters, one time for my LA hoes. Lame niggas can't tell the difference. Do you know the difference between a lady and a hoe? That ain't got shit to do with anything. But you should probably find out, man. A hoe is a state of mind. It's trauma. Trauma. That's all it is. You ain't a hoe. You're just traumatized. And you're fucking living this fucking endless cycle of just giving your pussy away to anybody who'll accept it. But that ain't my fucking, I'm not judging. I'm just say, become aware on who you let in between your legs, male or female, it doesn't matter. Cause just know, whatever that period, that person, whatever that, that being of light carries in their auric field, whether it's trauma, fucking shame, guilt, insecurity, any low vibration, you're gonna pick that shit up and it's gonna hang out in your fucking aura and you're gonna wonder why, damn, after I done ran this motherfucker, I feel like shit, I feel like a low vibrational being. I don't know why I said that. That has nothing to do with the video. I'm here to talk about cycles and flows. Not bitches and hoes, but cycles and flows. So, with that being said, cycles and flows. You have to be mindful of these cycles and flows that come into your life because you'll fucking, you'll put, you'll put unnecessary pressure on yourself. You're thinking it's you. Thinking it's you being lazy. Thinking it's you feeling worthless. Thinking it's you feeling fucking lack 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 let me tell you something about lack take your ass into that supermarket over there and you tell me if there's anything of lack in that fucking supermarket no everything is in, a, in abundance all the stocks are shelved that's fucking a mirror of the universe there's no fucking there's no lack the only lack is what walks in there in a state of mind saying, oh, I don't have enough for that. Oh, let's see, I got some organic. And then I got this shit. Fuck, the shit's a dollar cheaper. Fuck my body, I'm gonna save the dollar. Don't worry, I'm not judging, I did the same thing. And you know what, it's okay. You gotta learn from that shit. But be mindful of these cycles and flows that show up in your life. Cause you know what? The more you're mindful of them, the less of effect they have on your psychology. You could sit back and say, oh, I'm supposed to experience this. I'm supposed to feel this low vibration and it's supposed to slow me down so I could sit and I could take inventory of the last cycle I went through, see where I fucking, where I shined at and where I didn't. And then I could shine a light on that fucking darkness because here we are, we're not fucking focusing on our strengths. Our strengths are gonna grow from focusing on our weaknesses. And I'm not talking about focusing on them saying, oh man, I'm fucking weak, I'm fucking worthless. No, I'm saying, oh shit, I could do better there. Let me fucking do better there. I'm gonna do better there because I am better. I am the best, baby. In my universe, I am the best. You are the best in your universe. And that's where you hide. You're not, let me, let me reiterate that because that kind of sounds egotistical. I don't mean in the best. I mean, hold yourself to a high fucking value. I'm the motherfucking best. You ain't better than anybody, but you are the best. You are the best version that you have been since this incarnation. I'm not in competition with you. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. They ain't got shit to do with me. And then we cross paths and I fucking merge my dream with your dream and we make something bigger than that's fucking fantastic, Jack. But if not, it's cool. I still love you and I still support you and I still want you to fucking fulfill your best fucking life. As long as that's being a servant of love. However that means, you know? See, people get shit confused. You know, they sit in bed and they fucking sit in their head, focusing on what they don't want, what's not working and how it's never going to work and how they're always going to be where they're at. And they might as well just settle for what's coming and say, fuck this awakening, man. I was stupid for believing in it. But that's the fucking, that's the darker side. I'm not going to put a label on it besides it's saying it's a little bit darker than the light side. You know what I mean? And that's just testing you to see if you're gonna fall into that mind state. And you're gonna fall into that. And you're gonna, you're gonna believe it. And then it's got you. And then it's back right, you're back right where you started. You know? Everything is a fucking test. Everything, you know? Like, you're fucking five years clean, right? Say you're five years clean. Whatever your, your DOC was, your drug of choice. Whatever that was. 
but you're walking, you're enjoying yourself, and all of a sudden you look down, bam, you kick over a bag of dope. You're like, what the fuck is that? And you, you smell it, you know what it is. It's got that nice pungent vinegar smell. You're like, ooh, that's that shit. And then you start reliving all them fucking past experiences of you being a dope fiend. Except you only remember the good times of being a dope fiend. You don't remember the times that you sat in bed, fucking miserable, feeling worthless, feeling like shit. Wishing that you never made the decision to take dope in the first place. You don't focus on that. You say, man, I remember how good I was feeling. I remember having that great ass day when I tooted that bag and I hit the city and I was just moving around, vibing. That's what you remember. So you reflect back on that and you say, oh, that's a good idea. But start reflecting back on last time you did that, how it didn't work out. <laughs> say, okay, I'm not gonna do that shit. Cycles and flows, baby. Know your cycles, know your flows. They happen, they come and go. Ask yourself this, why is it one day you could just be up and in them? Or let's just say not a day, a week, a month. That whole month, man, you were eating right, you were fucking moving, you were fucking doing your yoga, you were running, you were strength training, you were writing, you were focused on your dreams, right? Everything seemed to just flow together. Bam, next month comes. You're back fucking not doing shit. Don't know why, you just fell off out of nowhere. And you're wondering like, what did I do? How, what did I do, man? I'm so worthless, man. I can never get anything right. And then you fall into that shit again. These are cycles and flows, baby. It was saying like, you had a productive month. We want you to sit your ass down and think of how well and how productive you were and fucking appreciate that and congratulate yourself on that. You know what I mean? Congratulate yourself on that. We never fucking congratulate ourselves. We never take fucking inventory of the greatness that we achieve. We always focus on what the fuck we didn't do right. You know what I mean? We do gotta take inventory, you know, and know that we are doing greatness because if we just focus on what we ain't doing, that's just gonna keep us low. And I understand, I'm feeling there's a lot of contradictory in what I'm saying, but sift through that shit, process it. Through your heart, not your bullshit ass filters. You know, when I talk to someone, right, and I talk, and it sounds like I'm fucking talking down to them, and I might say a fucking curse word, and I might say, wake the fuck up, you goofy mark. Whatever. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to your fucking soul. I'm not talking to your fucking love and essence. I'm talking to that bitch ass program in your fucking mind. But you identify with that program. So you think it's you. So you think I'm talking to you. Bitch, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to that fucking marg ass program that keeps you in that low vibrational state. Get up out of that bitch. Y'all know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean? But that's what I'm saying, man. Ladies, gentlemen, gods and goddesses, kings and queens, princes and princesses, dope fiends and dope queens, whatever. However you refer to yourself. I hope you don't refer to yourself on a few of them, but okay. Whatever. But you see this? You see this fucking river right here? I'm like a fucking grizzly bear standing at the edge waiting for my meal to come. I don't go looking for that motherfucker. Hell no. Nah. That thing's coming to me. And that's how we live life. Fucking feminine energy, baby. Think about, think about a beautiful fucking goddess, right? Beautiful fucking goddess. Fucking a queen, right? Someone that you see and you're just fucking head over heels for, right? Or a king. Or a prince. Or a Mr. Handsome. Whoever, right? Well, I fucking got off. No, fuck that handsome shit. Fuck that man. Fuck that masculine shit. I'm talking about femin femininity. Us men. Masculine energy is magnetized to feminine energy. Masculine gets pulled. Gets pulled to feminine energy. Feminine energy is a pull. It's a pull. It draws you in. It fucking draws you in. And be mindful, because that shit will fucking suck the life out of you. Suck the soul out, my mom. Suck the soul out that motherfucking jack. But you know, feminine energy is a fucking, is a pole like, come here! Like that shit, you know what I mean? Fucking scorpion. Come here! Yeah, scorpion. Scorpio. Scorpion. You heard scorpion. I suggest you look up that spirit animal, because there's a message in there for you. <laughs> But feminine energy is a pull, it draws us in, you know? So we, as men, need to start working on our feminine energy, not becoming bitches. And when I mean bitches, I mean just whiny motherfuckers, you know? Redefine the words that were created to fucking belittle you and make them something a little bit more empowering, right? 
but work on your feminine energy. Because then you'll start pulling and you'll start attracting things. That's what we're working on. Right now, we're so dense in this fucking masculine energy that we got to force our way up in there. We got to go take some pussy and shit. Fuck that. We let it come to us. Because we're fucking gods and goddesses. We just forgot. That's all. And now we're in this, this remembrance. This fucking beautiful remembrance. Do you understand what's going on on this planet right now? Cycles and flows. That's what the fuck goes, baby. Cycle and flows. We're going through it. So if you're a low vibe right now, just know that's there to make you better, right? Think about it this way. I fucking live in the Pacific Northwest. It's fucking cloudy. 70% of the time, right? But I'll tell you what. With all them cloudy days, it makes them fucking sunny days that much more greater. And that's what they're there for. That's what polarity is there for. To make you realize that even though you're experiencing this right now, your next experience is going to be the polar opposite of that. As long as you want it. As long as you move towards it. As long as you... And when I say move towards it, I mean with your vision. With your vision, not your fucking vessel, not your meat puppet, but your vision. That's how we draw things in. We're so used to going out there and fucking always taking action, taking action. Everything should be divinely inspired. Well, not everything, but most things. This is how I know I'm supposed to be a writer. Because my ego prevents me from sitting down in front of that fucking computer, right? With every excuse. Oh, let me get a cup of coffee. Let me hit the vape. Let me hit a bong. Let me fucking go take a piss. Let me go fucking whatever. But the moment I sit down in that motherfucker, my spirit fucking takes hold of that bitch. Them words just flow onto that motherfucker. So that's how I know this is my calling, at least right here in this moment. And then when I hit that pinnacle, I'm going to get to the next and the next. I'm not just a writer. I'm just not a speaker. I'm just not a fucking spiritual being i am all we are all you know when you think of the bible and i don't really get into religion and everything but every character in that bible is an aspect of you it might not even be a real person but it's something it's an aspect it's an energy that you embody within you and in order and i'm talking about even lucifer you know saint john the pope fucking jesus christ mary magdalene all of them they're just they're just energy and we connect to that energy and we embody it. And that's how we reach our fucking, our highest consciousness, Christ consciousness. That's it. Don't let it confuse you. Don't think these people are, you know, they might have been characters. You know, they might have been real people at one time. But how the fuck do we know? All I know is I need to embody me some of that, some of that energy. So let me connect. Let me connect. You know what I mean? It's all it is, you know? They say fake it till you make it, right? And you know, I used to buy into that shit. Shit wasn't working. No, you get your vision right. You get your vision right. It doesn't matter what's going on out here. It doesn't matter. But as long as you keep your eye on your vision and you fucking, you take, you take the actions that are flowing in between these two motherfuckers right here, right here, baby, third eye gleaming, don't be third eye blind. Be third eye gleaming, baby. But not gleam too high, man, because I'm attracting. I attract. I don't know what it is. But there's, there's a lot of individuals that I attract that they're just in the cosmos floating. All out there fucking first. I don't even want... I, we could say, I don't even want to say our, the, the, the uh, four top energy centers because I don't even know if they're working through their heart. They're just stuck in the fucking clouds. With rainbows and unicorns. And that's cool if it serves you. And you have, and this is, feels right. Like, I'm just here supposed to hold this space and fucking channel these, these elementals or however you refer. Then that's fine. But if it's don't feel right and you feel like you need to be doing more, then you're supposed to. Get your head out the clouds. Find out what it is that you're here for. Maybe it has something to do with fairies and unicorns. I'm not writing that off. Maybe you like Magic the Gathering, right? Maybe you like that shit. Maybe you should start a fucking a channel where it promotes that. Because from my understanding, you know, I'm not too into games, bitch. I don't play games. But 
if there's something to gain from them, then I'm all for it. If you, if there's some type of intellectual fucking stimulation going on up here and you're connecting to your heart and it feels good, do that shit. But try to say, how can I fucking, no, don't try. Fuck that try word. Where'd that shit come from? Do. Do what you got to do to ask yourself, hey, how could I make this so it's of service? so people can get something from it. Because I'm sure there's some type of wisdom. I don't get into Magic of the Gathering, but I guarantee you there's some type of wisdom up in there. Shit just don't happen, baby. Shit happens for a reason. Shit just don't happen. Shit happens for a reason. Ah! Jada Kiss, baby, still feel me. You don't even know that shit. Uh, I need to get some more subscribers. I love the ones I got. I don't know who it is. I don't know. I don't know. And that's how we live our lives. I don't know. I don't know. Start living your life with a I don't know mentality because then you're ready to learn some shit. Then you're ready to learn some shit. But if you walk around, oh, I know. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. I'm a knowing ass nigga. I know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, goof ass nigga. Yeah, 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 I know. You don't know shit. The more you think you know, the less I know you fucking know. Or something. Or something. But yeah. Cycles, it flows, you know? Just be mindful of them. They're there to serve you. Each and every one of them. The ones that make you feel low. And the ones that make you feel high. So when you're feeling low, affirm to yourself that this is temporary. It's here to make me stronger. To make me better. To propel me forward. And when you're in one of those cycles where you feel good. And you feel in alignment and you feel on your path and you're fucking kicking ass and taking fucking names, you take inventory of that shit too and say, I'm a fucking beast. I'm slaying shit over here. I am worthy of all my heart's desires. I am worthy. You don't fucking deserve it. Take that word, I deserve. You don't deserve shit. You already got what you deserved. This fucking temple in this life. Now, what are you going to do with it? What the fuck are you going to do with it? You're going to fucking, you're going to create your heart's desires because you're worthy. That's what you're going to do. But remove that fucking deserve word. I deserve. What makes you think you deserve? Please tell me. Please leave something in the comment that tells me why you're so fucking deserving. Please. Because I am fucking all ears. I am all ears, baby. Well, I deserve because I just fucking did three years in the penitentiary. I didn't even do shit. And then I came home and my bitch was fucking some other nigga and... I had to go get in the public aid line and life's been one big fucking struggle and I'm a victim and I deserve better. Wake the fuck up. Cause that's all that shit's gonna get you. Some whiny ass shit. Get out that fucking victimhood mentality. Victimhood. You victimhood rat. Yeah, I said it. I fucking said it. But then again, if you took offense to it, you know there's a program in there and you can thank me later. Actually, just leave a comment and say, thank you, Michael John. You just pulled one of my one of my one of my bogus ass programs to the surface, and I slayed that motherfucker, Jack. I slayed that bitch. Well, I don't know. I just like talking to y'all. I just like ranting. You know. I'm gonna start a podcast. These videos. You know, when I get my own space and everything's legit and books underway and everything's flowing, I'm gonna get a podcast because I like to just flow and share my ideas right because nothing is forced everything's flow so i could just get up on there and let it flow you know but not everybody wants to sit and watch a fucking an hour and a half youtube video but then again you might you're learning something fuck i sit there in my room contemplating listening to self-help to self-help youtube videos the real shit, like, check out this dude, Joseph Rodriguez. He reads all these fucking self-help books, and then he fucking creates these, these mind maps of them, and he breaks them down in the most understandable way. And you know what? You could just put one on and just chill and contemplate, and I guarantee you, the moment your spirit hears something that is gonna serve you in this lifetime, you're gonna be all ears. You're gonna be all ears. Just like you're in a supermarket and you're in your head and all of a sudden somebody says some shit and now you're out in your external environment ear hustling on their shit because you feel like they got they said something that triggered your spirit said oh there's some knowledge in there that's what happens you know 
It's all good, baby. I support you. I support you. My divine goddess, you. Have a blessed day.